Well, in our complicated society and the discovery of new methods to fight cancer and disease, I'm going to state something that's very obvious, and that's been news for since the dawn of time. The sun can actually help, vastly help improve your health. And this was discovered basically in the 1800s, the late 1800s. I think it was observed actually way back thousands of years prior to this. And I can give examples where uh, there were a type of monk. I don't know if they would call it a monk, but a type of religious person. used to shave their heads to get more of the sunlight, more surface area of skin exposed to sunlight, which would help give them more vitamin D production. But it's not just vitamin D. Now, one of the things going around the internet lately is you see this, this about GC MAF, GC macrophage activating factor, that could be used to be very useful in fighting cancers or any kind of microbes and also viruses, because it helps activate the immune system when it's turned off. It turns it back on. And what some of the supplements you could take to help improve your GC MAF is vitamin D or vitamin C or. Uh, there's vitamin E, there's actually a number of them you can use, even turmeric and things. But what people ignore is the most simple. And I also want to state this, that just because something is not observable doesn't mean there's something beneficial going on that scientists don't understand. Um and I also want to state that there is actually a blurry line between religion and science. And just put it this way, that some people say nature or God has given you everything to heal the body. Your body has everything in the world to heal itself. You don't need any medicines. Somebody might say that. And a doctor will say maybe that's not correct. But you need the medicines or whatever. But in a lot of ways, they're both correct. But there's no financial incentive to tell people to go out in the sun. Now, at one point in time, when it really took off in this country where people were healing with sunlight was with the solariums in the 1920s. People would go, they'd have the patients on beds or if they're bed stricken, they'd have them wheeled out you know, on a patio or in a large balcony area where they're exposed to the sun for at least 20 minutes a day or sometimes several hours. And that would vastly help them increase your healing capacity because the sunlight doesn't just help the body produce vitamin D it also turns on the macrophages that, that turns on the immune system and it will also help increase the GC MAF I know there's a, there's a lot of products out there okay it's a lot cheaper than some of the you know pharmaceutical medicines but there's a lot of products out there that claim that it'll they, this will increase the GC math in your body. Well, they may be true or may not, but nobody is selling you sunlight because nobody can put a meter on it. And sunlight is something I think is, I'm going to say I think because I, I, I can't observe it either, but there's, there's a hint as to why I think this. Though. Sunlight coming from a tanning bed is not the same as sunlight coming from the sun. Maybe the observable light is, but there's other things coming through from the sun that you're not going to get through a tanning bed, and it's like you just have to be outside. There are hidden energies in the sun, hidden energies, and not just UV rays or whatever. I mean, it's not that type of thing that's even observable through any type of scientific instrument. The reason I say this is that when I was researching and studying for some years, the Georges Lukowski multi-wave oscillator that was used back in the 1930s to drastically heal, drastically um, reduce wrinkles on people. They would, it was an anti-aging machine. It was a body strengthening machine, basically. Maybe I should call it that. A body strengthening machine, which in turn reversed age people and in turn threw off diseases that were in the body. It was a body strengthening machine. But that machine would not work as well if it was in a Faraday cage. And it would still work, but not as well. So obviously it was directing something, some kind of energies in and around us to the body that we need. That was called the Lukowski multi-wave oscillator. Now the reason I bring up this 
you know, again with the sunlight, is that this, the sunlight will help your body produce vitamin D. Now, there's one caveat. If you are low in magnesium, you will never get your vitamin D levels up, no matter how much you're out in the sun. There were examples of people that, you know, like Caucasian people that had like dark tans because the woman was always playing tennis outside all the time and she was always going to the beach and her vitamin D levels were still low. And that was due to the magnesium levels are low. And why this is in common right now, why magnesium levels are low right now, is because processed foods destroy the magnesium in the food. So even if the food starts out with having a good rate ratio of magnesium in it, it's it actually the processing of the foods, magnesium to calcium that is, we got loads of calcium in our diet, in our standard American diet, but we have very little ma- magnesium because it gets destroyed. Without the magnesium in your body, your vitamin D levels will never go up. But this is only one facet to why sunlight works. The sunlight actually has frequencies in it that are affecting your cells at a microscopic level and it's also helping to turn the immune system on in addition to the vitamin D turning the immune system on. The frequencies themselves. And if you look at everything that we know a little bit about in the universe because we don't really know things beyond the scope of our senses and our instruments but if you look at everything in the universe um, the sun itself is it's I, you know I don't know what to, how to describe it exactly but I could tell you the scientific explanations for it that it's a uh, a ball of nuclear explosions going off all the time that's incorrect it's got an energy point center just as the earth has and just as the atom itself has I don't understand how it works exactly, but the sun itself, the earth, all the planets, all the other stars, and all the individual atoms that exist to make up matter have something in common. It's like they have a a center energy point with electrons flowing around them, and it's just a matter of putting more and more atoms together. But if you could put energy back into the system again, in other words, put energy back into the body again, it could actually help heal itself. It's not just the vitamin D. It's not just frequencies. Frequencies are a very important thing, too. But it's energy. It's a type of energy. There are various types of energies that I swear we do not understand. That that device developed, really developed by Nikola Tesla, uh, but George Lukoski did all the grunt work on it, which was called the George the Lukowski multi-wave oscillator, is a major hint that there are energies in and around us that we don't see. You know, we see, you know, the sunlight. We see the sun, what the sunlight bounces off of. Do we see the blue sky, which actually is a psychological thing that blue is almost like a sedative color. It's an antidepressant, believe it or not. Do you believe that? you believe that... Um, uh, the color blue is a major antidepressant that people, if they just go outside, they would not need these antidepressant drugs. But that's another thing that is just there in nature that's totally free that can work better than anything out there. Now, of course, with sunlight, you got to watch out. You don't overdo it. But sunlight, like I said, it contains all these colors, and all these colors are various frequencies. And they help and aid the body in different ways. And this is why, um, you know, we don't, well, let me put it this way. We don't, like, we don't look at everything that's around us in a proper way. Like, the scientists are confined to what they observe. But you can actually feel different when you're out in the sun. A lot of times, you will feel better immediately. Like if you're working in an office and you're crunching a lot of numbers at a desk, you walk outside, even a person that's taking a smoke break with a cigarette is probably better off taking that smoke break with a cigarette in the sun 
than if he just stayed inside and didn't smoke the cigarette. That's how strong the sun is. It, you know, maybe not, maybe that's a little bit of exaggeration, but the thing is, there is not. It's not just vitamin D. It's not just that, and it's not just what the sun uh, tanning boosts mimic from the sunlight. It's more than that. Basically, the sun is almost like a god to us, with a small g, because it's not you know everything and all knowing, but it is an important element to all life on Earth, and you just can't ignore it. That's why I'd have to say that. Um, well, my opinion is there's actually a blend between scientific and religion. You know, both have there's a blurry gray there. And actually, in the middle is probably the truth. I know sometimes the scientific people get extremely atheistic, and I think that's incorrect. And the religious people think they have all the answers because the Bible is absolutely every answer there is. But, you know, I think it's 100% accurate, but it's not every answer there is on every subject. Um, It has a lot in there, though. But the thing is, people have been conditioned to say, i got to go to a specialist. Or if they don't like specialists and they don't like doctors, they got to go to some alternative medicine. Or that's a you know a phrase, I guess you know maybe a, a an herb or a vitamin or something. But people are ignoring the most important thing out there that gives us life, and this can help. This can actually raise the GC math in your body. In addition to doing that, raise your vitamin D, and it's not just the vitamin D is raising the GC math. This is doing it too. This act, the sun actually turns on your immune system directly. The sun is actually reaching the bloodstream at the microscopic capillary level near the skin. And it's not just the frequencies it's that we observe. It's not just all the various hues of colors and the, and the things that are beyond the scope of human vision. There's other inner energies coming out of the sun we don't understand. Like, you know, we maybe we can understand like and observe and make a model of an atom. But do we really understand why the electrons swirl around the atom? Do we really understand that? No. We only have, we can only see so far because we're three-dimensional beings with five senses or six senses in some cases, and that's it. But sometimes, you know, this is not a money maker. That's the thing. It's not a money maker for the pharmaceutical industry. And it's not a money maker for the supplement industry. And it's, and it's free. Now, I guess the only cost would be is finding it, allocating the time to get out there in the sun and get your rays. But when you do that, you will be not just raising your vitamin D levels and, again, make sure you take magnesium. Now, if you're raising your vitamin D levels with the sun only, you don't have to worry about taking the K2 when you're supplementing with the vitamin D, take the K2. The K2 is actually been discovered finally after many years that the vitamin K2 was the factor, the main factor, what they call the French paradox, why the French live so long. That's so few heart attacks and problems, health problems, despite what seemed to be a bad diet, which was not a bad diet because it was rich in K2. But you don't that's, see, that's another thing. It's like it would still be good to take the K2, but with vitamin D, if you're taking higher levels of vitamin D, you definitely have to take the K2. But in the case with sunlight, your body's not you're not going to have a problem. It's not going to overproduce the vitamin D. But you should take, you should make sure you have the magnesium. Now, you're not going to have a problem with the magnesium if you're having in a, a diet that is like raw vegetables and things like that and homegrown foods and th- you're not going to have a problem there but if you're eating any of the stuff that's coming out of the supermarket that's processed and subject to you know the the, the facilities that can the food and and uh, sterilize it well you're going to have a problem with getting your magnesium levels high enough whereby your body could actually uh, bring a, also bring up the vitamin D levels so that's the only thing You really, you know, besides getting the sunlight, the only thing you would really have to do to make sure the vitamin D levels go up is take the magnesium. But again, the sunlight is not just helping the body produce vitamin D. It's doing far more than that. 
I know it lowers the cholesterol. I know it helps activate the immune system separately. It helps destroy microbes in the blood at the capillary level where the sunlight is actually getting down into the bloodstream near the surface of the skin. But it's doing more than that. There's energies in and around us that we don't observe. And, it, and like the one thing I said that why I know this is a fact that there's energy, hidden energies that we need is that this Lukowski coil will not work as well in a Faraday cage, a Lukowski multi-wave oscillator. So apparently it's pulling in energies in and around us that we don't see. And that You know, even though I don't know what those energies are that we don't see or we don't know about, it's doing something. And it's been verifiably proven by the best medical doctors, even though it was back in the 1930s up to 1942, that the Lukowski multi-wave oscillator exponentially strengthened the body. Not that the device itself was doing it, it was directing energies in and around us into the body, which, since it exponentially strengthened the body... What, what that did in turn was help the body throw off disease and also become younger and stronger. There are people in, you know, in the state of Florida, there's all these retirees. A lot of these people that go out in the sun, do sensible sunlight, not overdoing it. They could be in their 80s and they seem to have no health problems whatsoever. And they got very good energy. Just doing that. I've known a number of people have done that. So... Um, what do you think people have been doing? And as far as, you know, I know the dermatologists sometimes, they're correct in some ways and in some ways they're not. But, you know, they have the extremes now with the, you know, from the dermatologists. So some of them might say, avoid the sun at all costs. But we have been um, under the sun for a good portion of the day for literally tens of thousands of years. And... You know, if you look at the cancer rates back, um, I don't know, more than 100 years ago, they were very nil. I mean, once you lived, people would not get cancer uh, that much. It was even in the Roman times, if people had a good diet, you know, people weren't getting cancer. People actually even had all their teeth, and they would never have problems with dental work, even if it was a good diet. But those people were also exposed to the sun for hours a day so you know yes you do have to have the good diet to make sure the sun doesn't damage your skin as much but and you should use uh, you know not a not a screen but some kind of oils like um, you know coconut oil was one of the better ones but you know if you're doing this a sensible amount you're gonna you're gonna actually have so many more benefits than just a simple vitamin D. There's a lot of benefits. And trouble is, people don't have the time to do this. That's 99% of the problem right now. People don't have the time to get out there in the sun. And also, you have to be down in a latitude where the sun's rays are more direct. Anyway, I hope I hope this helped you out because uh, this GC math, I think, is an excellent thing. And I know there's a number of products being sold to help boost your GC math. Well, there's another way of doing it. And it's free as long as you can allocate some time. And that is simply just using the sun. That's fine by me. That's the way I'm doing it. Over now.